Hello everyone, in this video I'm gonna show you step by step explanation how to install NetBooks. What step we should do? Install some packages, installing all dependency application required to run NetBooks, installing Redis server and not configuring. Next step is install and configure PostgreSQL server. After you have PostgreSQL successfully installed, we will create a database and user for NetBooks. Next step is copy NetBox to server from Git. What it means, we get to clone NetBox from Git and begin the process of the configuring it for us. The next step is run upgrade.sh script. The script will prepare NetBox to run after the code has been upgraded. And the next step create super user for NetBox, for example, admin or NetBox admin. Next step copy Gunicorn script, that's all. The next step is configure systemd, what mean we will use systemd to control the demonization of netbox service. And the last part of this tutorial is install and configure web server Jinx. Jinx web server to help us access netbox via domain name riser than specifying an IP address and a port. But we should just specify IP address in our configure file. Please subscribe to my channel and you don't miss my new video about network automation. I created a new place about network automation. If you didn't watch and don't know what is NetBox in IPAM, please watch my video in the corner. Let's go ahead and start install NetBox IPAM. So let's install some dependencies. Now I am install ready server and enable to auto run and start it. Start system CTLs enable to auto run. The next install PostgreSQL server. After you have PostgreSQL successfully installed, create database and user for Nebux. Switch to Postgre user, connect to Postgre with terminal client PSQL. Create database Nebux. Create user Nebux with password and grant privileges on the objects in the database like the command select, insert, delete and quit and log out from user Postgre. Go to folder opt and copy networks to server from git. Run git clone command with link to digital ocean git repository, latest netbox repository. Now create symbolic link, make Python 3 as default. Go to folder netbox netbox and generate secret key let's save temporary the secret key somewhere go to folder netbox Configure netbox configuration.py allowed host all hosts. It means star name netbox database name user netbox and password which we indicated early. And paste secret key, what we save it early. Uh, 
OK, save and exit. So now we will configure VSGI and HTTP services run on the Netbooks user account. We will also assign this user ownership to the media directory. For this purpose, you have to create system user Netbooks, group Netbooks. And now paste ID of Netbox group 998. Let's do this command. Okay. Do permission for this folder. And start our script grape.cch to migrate database, install Python requirements. And now I want to create super user for Netbox. For this purposes, you need to ac activate virtual environment. Netbox admin, email address. Write password again, repeat, and super user successfully install it. Now I need to reboot server for apply all settings. Let's go ahead and copy Gunicorn script. And that's it. Next step configure systemd. Copy to systemd folder and diamond reload for accepted. And now you need to start Netbox worker and, and add to auto run. And the last part, install web proxy server and Jinx. And do some configuration. Let's open configuration file. I will use port is 80. Listen 80, change name. You you can use the main name. I will use an IP address in my demo. Okay, that's it. Save and exit. Create a sim link in the site enable directory to the netbooks configuration file. Delete default configuration. Let's check our configuration and restart. Add to outrun jinx. 
Let's check our netbox. As you can see, my netbox is running. Let's log in to netbox. With our new password. As you can see, our networks work properly. Thank you, subscribe. See you, bye.